All right, so what's going on everyone? Thank you for tuning in to this video. Um, if this is your first time watching, my name is Jeremy, the Bigfoot Farmer, and my family and I are currently on this journey of finding a new property. And right now, we, I am out back in my in-laws property. And for those that have been um, watching for a long time, you guys know we have bees. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about today there's gonna to be a little bit of a move um, before that I want to go into a little bit of a backstory um, if you guys um, remember for those of you that have been with us for a while uh, last year I got stung and my eye swelled up big time um, for a reminder or for the new guys new people um, check this out you want to explain what happened to your eye man so I was feeding the bees last night and just putting sugar water in the jars. And as I'm putting down the first jar, I, got two, I, got, I had to refill two jars. I saw this bee come out of the frame. I literally saw it just come out of the frame and just right into my eyeball. And I thought I got stung in the eyeball. And however, it was right on the eyelid. And so, I mean, at first it wasn't too bad, but this morning it absolutely blew up I can't even see it's completely closed off all right so as you guys know the bees have been a little crazy um, I ended up requeening them and I think that did the trick however before that really took effect um, we had a little issue with Daisy so she ended up getting stung right on the lip dead center top lip and let's just say we had a little bit of swelling, also maybe a little bit more than just a little bit, but with it right away, you check this out. Um, I'll, I'm gonna put some pictures up, um, but her lips swelled up. Um, it was almost like one of those fads that was going around where you like you must suck, you, you like suck a glass to your lips and they end up swelling up, and it was just in her lip. Um, gave her some rounds of Benadryl. Um, stuff like that and you know she seemed to be doing all right however um, she went to bed pretty fine uh, no the no like crazy reaction her throat didn't close up or anything like that so before you guys see this just know that she is perfectly fine nothing was wrong she had no effect with breathing or anything like that um, check this video out this was the next morning 20 hours after the original sting I can't laugh what did you just say about your cheeks? They're so red. <laughs> Whoops, Daisy. Uh, you're cute. Cute as you've ever been. I didn't know so. <clears throat> so pretty sad. Uh, my heart was pretty broken when I woke up. Actually, Joanna woke me up um, because she, Daisy woke her up saying she couldn't see out of her eyes. And we're like, what do you, what do you mean you couldn't see? So... Um, just as a precaution, all right, um, as you guys know, backyard isn't huge, but with how aggressive they've been, they've really taken over the backyard and the kids haven't been coming out. And that's not right. Gerana, we, you know, we homeschool, so the kids have to come outside and play. So I am going to be moving the bees uh, to a pretty cool spot, which I'll tell you um, in a little bit. But first, before it gets dark, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be doing because um, I don't know what the footage is going to be like. Um, so I'm going to be closing up the hive at nighttime. Um, they've been hanging out in the front like this, like they've been doing. So I'm going to be waiting until it's real dark. It's probably like 11 o'clock until um, everyone is in the hive. And I'm going to be closing them up and so we can move them early in the morning. All right, so right now we are at Refreshing Mountain Christian Retreat Camp. Um, scouting out a good area for the bees. Um, some things to look for um, if you're going to be moving your bees for winter time is you want them to get sun first thing in the morning and most importantly you want to keep them out of the wind. So we're going to walk this property and find an awesome spot. So what Refreshing Mountain is, um, it's a retreat camp. You can come here for the day or you can spend the night 
Um, you can bring groups, families, or just yourself. There's zip lines. Yeah, there's, there's right, tons there's, of activities. There's, there's a reptile center. There's um, here. What is there? Yeah. Say it again. I don't know if they heard you. A zip line. Yep. Aqua course. Um, a petting reptile center. Uh, reptile center. A mini farm. A mini farm. What and else? A big rock a wall. A rock wall and a swing that's like 30, 35. Yeah, huge. Feet. And a pretty cool uh, small fishing pond right behind actually, us. I went on the big giant swing. Yeah, Wesson. Um, this is actually Nana's, my mother-in-law's, work. She works here um, in the office. And with the incident we had with Daisy, um, with the small size of their backyard, I thought, you know, it might be best to just move the bees. I know in the winter they mostly spend most of the time in the hive, but right now I just I just want to do it. It's, it's the best thing to do. Um, the kids need to go out and play. So... We're out here looking for a spot. I think we have one. Another thing we have to make sure is there is obviously not a nuisance here. Um, we found an area that is gonna be perfect. It's tucked away. They're gonna have their own little nook. And the best part is they're gonna stay at 50 degrees. Um, let me show you guys. So we're over here, back in the corner. Let's show them, buddy. We're going to be coming up here and check this out. So, we're going to be right here, and we're going to keep them right in this nook. Biggest reasons why this is an awesome spot is right over here is the east. They have three-cornered barricade of these trees. They're going to stay out of the wind, and they got, they're going to have heat. They're going to have heat, and so this is sort of like, I'm going to say septic area clean water the rainwater comes up in here um so this is gonna be an awesome area to keep the bees i'm super excited so right now we got to go back and load these bees up all right so it's about 10 o'clock at night ended up walking the hole with a towel and i ended up using some duct tape up here and like i said i got the ratchet straps i got them i got one all the way around and then one on the base. Hopefully we don't have any issues um, with straggler bees. When I opened it up to uh, duct tape the upper hole, some bees came out. So we might have a few stragglers. Hopefully we don't, we don't get stung when we move it, but I will see you guys first thing in the morning. <laughs> mountain six o'clock in the morning the bees are in their spot and I just unplugged it and they're doing good they're out and it's gonna probably take a little bit probably gonna take a bit to readjust to their flight pattern but they're in a good spot for the winter I'm excited I'll come out here once in a while check on them I gotta I gotta winterize them so this won't be the last time you'll see them all right, so I just got back and I wanted to show you guys Daisy. She is back to normal. She's super happy. And you know what? And sunflowers, remember? <laughs> sunflowers? Well, she was a trooper. Um, even though she was really swelled up, she was never in pain and she was still singing with her beautiful voice. Um, it is a little disappointing that the bees are gone. However, it's, it's a no-brainer. Um, they, you know, we come out here to have some fires, hang out, and I've never experienced it. I don't know if it's because we were used to be out in the big farm um, and never really were around the bees unless we were working with them, um, but they sort of took over. You come back here and you, were, you got attacked for no reason without even provoking them. So it's just a smart thing to do. Um, there are a few bees flying around here uh, they missed a trip so unfortunately they'll probably they must have get out of there yeah 
They must have got out of the hive when I was closing it up. But I'm going to end this video, guys. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, feel free. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of comments uh, regarding Daisy, a lot of comments about bee management. Feel free. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Maybe I'll learn something. Um, but again, guys, I really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button. Um, again, leave comments. Smash that thumbs up button. And we'll see you guys on the next video.